Hey guys, this is the video to follow up on the Vault Box Series 2. Uh, there were some questions that arose because of the previous videos, so I wanted to get those answered. First of all, what did I pay for each of these boxes? About $750 is what was paid for each of these boxes. So you can do the math um, as we go. This box here, right here, was Flipside's box. Flipside's box came with a quarter ounce platinum at $300. These numbers are buyback numbers from NGCX. I could take these and sell them right back to them for this price tag that I'm giving you. And then I got the, um, she got the 2021 um, Morgan out of New Orleans and it's worth about $125. And then she also got a 2000, no, a 1999 American Silver Eagle. All three of these coins at a 99, I did not catch any of them at 10 point. The ASE is worth about 50. These are buyback prices. So in reference to Flipside's $750 investment, there was $475 in coins that came out of there for a loss of $275 on this box. My box was worse than this one. My box was three coins, all of them nine nines. I did get an ASC, it's a 2001, it's worth $50. I did get a quarter ounce platinum, that's $300 buyback price from NGC. And then also I got this coin. It's pretty neat, I sure do wish it was a 10, but it's a nine, $95. Uh, coin. So in reference to my box, at $750 that I paid, uh, $445 is what came back um, in coins right there, and I did take a loss of $305. Now, would I do this again? No. Um, do I think NGC needs to get away from doing this? Yes, absolutely. You got to remember that each one of these graded coins, NGC graded them, it's not like there's a second party, sec, uh, uh, a secondary entity that's doing this. They're, they're buying the coins, they're grading the coins, and then they're still making these boxes so that you lose a great amount of money. So in reference to it, would I do it again? Absolutely not. Um, and would I shy away from telling somebody that it was fun? Absolutely, it was not fun. As a matter of fact, I stressed out on it for four months trying to decide whether I wanted to sell them on eBay and make 300 bucks a box or open them and take a loss or maybe make some money. I knew that I wouldn't make money uh, in the long run because after looking back at everything, I think it's a one in 400 um, is a really, really good box where you can make some money on it. So no, I would not do it again. I hope this answered all your questions on what was going on with the Vault Box Series 2. Uh, in my opinion, it's a ripoff, and I would never do it again. So, thank you for the fun Vault Box, but it was absolutely no fun, and it was stressful for me. So, have a great day. Do something nice for somebody. Pay it forward every chance you get. I'll see you on the next one. And, little heads up, make sure that you comment on all my Vault Box 2 series uh, videos, because I'm going to pick a lucky winner out of all those videos. And I'm going to give away one of these coins to them. And you know what? It'll probably be a 9.9 .9 because I didn't get any 10s. Have a great day. Peace out. Take care.